This is take five this evening of the planet Jupiter. Uh, seeing it 500 power, 500x magnification through a Takahashi Milan 250 telescope and an L3 unfilmed P45 white phosphor image intensifier. Attenuated with a narrowband methane filter, center line 889 nanometers, bandwidth 8 nanometers and uh, I think I'm liking it the most with this tube I shot with some prior green tubes before this maybe it's uh, the atmosphere is tightened up a bit although now it's starting to look like it's not uh, Jupiter is just a uh, maybe half an hour past the meridian so now it's gonna start getting worse gradually but we got here 500 X F uh, 48 system pushing out with two 2 X Barlow's daisy chain together Sony Alpha 7S camera set to 1 50th of a second shutter, and the ISO is 1250. And we have cloud belts, pretty obvious. Some prominent dark one in the, going right across the equator. And then uh, the upper half of the disk is the northern hemisphere, lower half of the disk is the southern hemisphere, so there's a few more cloud belts on the northern half, and you know, not so much in the southern half, although it's got a light area on the very edge as opposed to the darker area on the uh, northern pole of Jupiter. Little dots off to the right. Uh, the one closest to the planet would be Ganymede, right? And the further one out is uh, Europa. They've changed a little bit in position since I started doing this about an hour ago. And if I were to move the planet off to the right, I'll pick up one more moon to the lower left. That would be the moon Io, the one with the volcanoes on it. But you don't see them. That guy's dancing around there. We're pushing our magnification pretty good here, so the atmospheric percolation is going to show more than it would at a lower magnification. Uh, I believe the planet may have just passed opposition recently, in the last week or so. Uh, closest point to Earth, but uh, it's still looking pretty decent. So this is what white phosphor gives you. Probably a little bit greater response versus the green to the camera, because there's just a sort of wider spectrum of light to be recorded by the sensor on the camera. Full frame camera running an APS-C crop, by the way. I've got a somewhat unusual Avamo 1X relay coupling the camera to the back of the image intensifier. I just got that the other day, and it seems to do the job. I believe it's a pretty old relay. It's probably 15, 20 years old for all I know, but it's uh, nice clear glass in it. So it produces a pretty good image. A lot of sparkling here, like the L3 P43 green phosphor. Uh, that differs from the Photonis, which does indeed have a little bit smoother view, I guess you could argue, in the nature of the technology versus Gen 3. Photonis is not Gen 3, it's proprietary, maybe Gen 2, who knows. But this is Gen 3 unfilmed. And uh, not bad. Decent cloud belts. Oh, it's getting a little fuzzy on me. You can see the atmosphere kind of cooperates and then not so much sometimes. Okay, so um, what else can I say? I mentioned the narrowband H alpha filter. I mean, methane filter. 89 nanometer, 18 nanometer band pass. Uh, 500x. I think we'll call it quits. I might attempt to still, but she's bouncing so much, I probably won't get much. Okay, so Jupiter with uh, L3 unfilmed white phosphor, narrowband methane filter, 500x, evening of April 21st slash 22nd. Okay, that's gonna be it. Call it a wrap. Yeah.